dear friends welcome back into my another lecture hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper in this video i will discuss i will explain the question number 7th b use the central limit theorem uh, to evaluate p of x bar greater than 50 less than 56 where x bar represents the mean of a random sample of size 100 from an infinite population with mean of mu is equal to 53 and variance uh, sigma square is equal to 400 and given a of 1.5 is equal to 0 0.4332 as earlier in the previous videos i have already told you that this module is very easy to tackle you can easily get 20 marks this is purely based on formulas okay <clears throat> and uh, try to write the given data first in the question okay whatever is the data given so first of all uh, represents the mean of a random sample is given so n is equal to 100 uh, next mu is equal to 53 right and variance uh, sigma square is equal to 400 by which we can calculate the simply sigma that is standard deviation sigma is equal to root of 400 you will get 20 value right then you know already what is the formula as we have solved varieties of problems on central limit theorem also so z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma upon root n so try to write down the values what is the x bar value first of all you take 50 then you take 56 so x bar is equal to 50 x bar is equal to 56 so at x bar is equal to 50 so 50 minus mu is equal to 53 divided by sigma is 20 divided by root of n n means sample is 100 so while calculating this much you will get z is equal to minus 1.5 okay at x bar is equal to 56 uh, just put down the 56 value in, instead of x bar so z is equal to 56 minus 53 divided by 20 divided by root of 100 which is equal to 1.5 so these are the two values at different x bars right now i can write probability of x great x bar greater than 50 less than 56 we are usually writing it as p of minus 1.5 see here minus 1.5 we are getting the value at 50 that is why i am writing here minus 1.5 less than z less than 1.5 just because we are getting the z value as 1.5 at 56 right i can write in this particular format now there is a formula p of minus a less than z less than b it is equal to a of a plus a of b and sometimes phi of a phi of b just because in the question it is mentioned that a of 1.5 is given if it is phi of we can take phi also okay but in this problem a of 1.5 is given so i will take a of a plus a of b so see here this is your a minus a this is your b in this case so what i should write a of a a of a is 1.5 so 1.5 plus a of b b is 1.5 right so this is a plus a twice a 1.5 and this a of 1.5 value is given in the problem see here 0 0.4332 so 2 multiplied by 0 0.4332 you will get probability of x x bar greater than 50 less than 56 is equal to 0 0.8664 this is the answer for this particular question very simpler one only thing is you should uh, uh, what we call use the formulas very well over there okay so this is the evaluation of cent using the central limit theorem to evaluate p of x bar is greater than 50 less than 56 so we have calculated this much value over here okay i hope this is clear to you people thank you